Welcome back to Films Retold. Today, we're going to be breaking down Outer Range Season 1, Episodes 3 and 4. Quite a bit happened in these episodes, so if you haven't seen them yet, there will be major spoilers ahead. Outer Range can be found on Amazon Prime streaming platform, and if you'd like a free 30-day trial, you can check out the link in the description. How handy is it to have a black hole to chuck all your darkest secrets into? Well, that's exactly what Royal does, hiding all his incriminating evidence in the endless abyss. Having survived the journey through said hole himself, you would think the man is well aware whatever goes into the hole can come right back out. So why does he keep using it as an evidence bin? The episode titled, The Time, continues this bizarre saga, exploring the private investigation into Trevor's disappearance, while Royal attempts to cover his tracks and protect his family. We start the episode off with Deputy Sheriff Joy arresting an armed man at a convenience store. As she's transporting him to the county jail, they discuss the recent disappearances of the people in town. He tells Joy that his cousin just randomly disappeared for six seconds. Joy dismisses this though and asks if his cousin was also a fan of methamphetamine like himself. Autumn digs up a stone near the west pasture of the ranch. This is the same area that Amy and her first met. This is confirming our theory that the stones on the Abbott Ranch may also have some supernatural abilities just like the hole. As Autumn is getting ready, she encounters the same buffalo with two arrows sticking out of its sides seen throughout the series. This buffalo has had more screen time than a couple of the actors in the show, so I'm going to be a little let down if we don't get more answers about what's so special about it. I mean, I think it's obvious that buffalo is not from the current timeline, but I want to know a little bit more about the backstory on its origins, and whether or not it's the same buffalo on Wayne Tillerson's wall. Autumn hitchhikes her way into town in order to fill her prescription. The prescription she's getting is Lamotrigine. It's a medicine used to treat epilepsy and mood disorder. I have a feeling this will become relevant later in the season. I don't think the writers included this scene for no reason at all. If you're in the Amy is the same person as Autumn camp, then I feel this is going to be one of those clues later on in the series. Perhaps Amy will start to have seizures, or will be diagnosed with bipolar later in the season. While Cecilia Abbott is out in town getting groceries, she witnesses a truck almost crash into a car pulling out. Inside the truck seems to be Perry's wife, Rebecca. However, when Cecilia tells Royal about this, she later says that it wasn't her. I'm not really sure if this is the same actress that we see from the photo inside the Abbott residence, mainly because the woman who plays Rebecca is unlisted for the cast. Maybe someone can drop me a comment and let me know. I thought that perhaps the woman playing Rebecca was Kristen Canoli, but I'm unsure if this is correct. Rhett Abbott is preparing for his rodeo competition when Joy shows up to question him about Trevor's belt buckle having his blood on it. Despite the pressure from law enforcement, Rhett moves up on the leaderboard in his competition and decides to go out for drinks with Maria. Once again, Rhett has too much to drink and ends up urinating on a police vehicle. He ends up being taken to a jail cell. Joy uses this opportunity to question Rhett again about Trevor's disappearance. This time, Rhett tells Joy that there was a fight that night, and the reason why he didn't say anything earlier was because of how the Tillerson boys have been acting. Royal shows up to pick up Rhett, but Joy makes him wait outside so she can question Rhett some more. Royal then uses this opportunity to steal the belt buckle from Joy's desk. On the ride back from jail, Royal opens up to Rhett and tells him that only his dad has died, and that when he ran away, he left his mother and sister behind. I'm kind of curious if we'll go to see Royal's family later in the season. When Royal returns to the ranch, he tosses the belt buckle into the hole. Again, Royal knows what happens to things that fall into the hole, so he must know that at some point this evidence is going to resurface. The next morning, Royal pays Autumn a visit, and he asks her why she pushed him into the hole. She tells him that she just needed to see what would happen. When Autumn questions Royal about what he saw in the hole, he explains that he saw his ranch, but in a different time. At first, Autumn thinks that he went into the past, but then realizes he actually went into the future. Before Royal leaves, he and Autumn shake hands, and as they do, the mountain behind them disappears. We also see that Autumn has a necklace with the same black smoke found inside the hole, giving us even more credibility to the rocks around the Abbott Ranch having some sort of supernatural abilities as well. Just as Royal and Autumn release each other's hands, the mountain reappears. I guess the tweaker from the beginning of the episode wasn't all that crazy. I think the writers are trying to really set up Autumn's character as someone who's already time-traveled. My bet is it's going to be Amy. Some other possibilities would be Royal's younger sister, but I think this is much less likely than the Amy and Autumn being the same person. At the close of the episode, Amy goes out for a hike and finds Trevor's body. Luke shows up to the police station and pressures Joy into looking into the belt buckle. He's adamant that the Abbots are responsible for the death of his brother. It's here where Joy realizes the evidence of the belt buckle has been removed from her desk. Just then, Joy gets the call from Royal, letting her know about Trevor, ending episode 3.
Episode 4 starts off nine months in the past, right around the time of Rebecca's disappearance. A man who works for Wayne Tillerson brings him a rock from the Abbott Ranch, which shows the black smoke from the hole embedded into the rock. The man tells Wayne that the stone was from the Abbott's West Pasture. When the man asks Wayne if he's ever saw anything like this, he states that he hasn't, not since he was a kid. We then get a shot of Wayne as a kid standing over the hole. We don't know if this is the same hole in the Abbott Ranch though. Like we talked about before, it's not outside the realm of possibility that this hole moves around from time to time, so it could be at some point the hole existed on the Tillerson's ranch. Royal leads the police to the body of Trevor, and we learn that the body resurfaced just outside the Abbott's land. This means that objects going in and out of the hole won't necessarily show up in the same places. I'm interested in finding out who tossed the body back through the hole for it to reappear in present time though. Joy starts questioning Amy about the night Trevor went missing, and because Rhett's not there, she tries to use this as an opportunity to catch the family in a lie. But just before they catch up to Rhett, Perry's able to warn him that they found the body and that he needs to tell the police that he was out with a girl that night. When the police ask who the girl was, Maria covers for Rhett and says that it was her. However, this just leads to Joy now seeking answers from Maria. Joy tells Maria that Trevor's disappearance is actually a homicide, leading to Maria then telling Joy the truth about Rhett not being with her that night. Joy ends up picking up Rhett for more questioning, and calls Perry down to the police station as well. She uses a common tactic when police are questioning more than one individual for a crime. She tries to turn the boys against each other, but just as it seems they are about to crack, Royal shows up with the attorney and gets them out of questioning. With the news of her son's death, Patricia Tillerson returns to the Tillerson ranch. Even with the news of Trevor's death, Wayne is still all in about taking the west side of the Abbott ranch. This angers Patricia because from her perspective she thinks Wayne is going crazy and tells him that she's going to help Luke take over the ranch. During Trevor's funeral, Patricia makes note of the Abbott's reactions and is able to deduce that Perry was the one who murdered her son. After the funeral, Royal finds Autumn gambling in the back and challenges her. If she wins, Royal is willing to give her the west pasture of the ranch, but if she loses, then she has to give Royal her necklace and tell him her full story. Royal cheats in order to win, so he ends up with the necklace. We cut to Wayne laying in bed staring at the buffalo on his wall. When he knocks over his drink, the liquid surrounds the special rock and starts to bubble. Wayne takes this as some sort of sign and decides to drive through the Abbott Ranch. Royal is out near the hole and tries to bait Wayne into driving into it, but Wayne stops just in time. When he gets out to inspect the hole, Royal attacks him from behind, briefly knocking him out. Royal turns his back and faces the hole. Wayne then strikes Royal in the back of his head with the special rock, leaving him unconscious on the ground. Ending Episode 4 Wayne suspected from the very beginning of the series that something was going on, but now he knows for sure. My question is whether or not Wayne will keep this knowledge of the hole to himself, or if the news of its existence is going to get out. One thing is for sure, Wayne's motivation to take the land will definitely escalate in the coming episodes. That about does it for this breakdown. What are your thoughts on the episodes? Drop me a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.